Hello everyone. Welcome to Colorful Pages. Hope you all are having a very good time. And today I am back again to share with you a very super gorgeous, beautiful, exciting tutorial about hand embroidery. I will be teaching you hand embroidery on a tassa silk blouse which is actually an upcycling project. I will teach you this embroidery project using only 4-5 embroideries and about all the stitches I use and the material I used I will be telling you in the video itself. So without wasting any time let's get started. This is a very beautiful raw silk blouse which I have specially got stitched for this very tutorial. Uh, you will see this is the front side of the blouse which I am going to leave it absolutely plain and at the back side I am going to do some uh, embroidery work. I wanted to show you specifically the stitching style of this blouse. If you will see on the left hand side there is a zip here like this which makes it easy to wear to put on and there is no button in front which you are seeing is the front and also there is no button at the back so this is a very nice style of getting the blouse stitched it is just like a crop top and on the back i will trace this particular design with the help of a carbon paper the carbon paper which i am going to use is this one you can see the number is 5010 this is a white color carbon paper not exactly white but this is pale light yellow more of creamish color and whenever we have to trace something on a dark color fabric we must use a light color carbon paper for tracing you can see these two marks the stitching mark over here I am going to like this the stitching mark I am going to keep this carbon paper like this and this is a printout which I took out from uh, the internet and in the center I am going to place this printout like this and I will either stick it with cello tape or else I will keep some heavy material on it just like this box like this and with the help of pencil very easily I am going to draw this hole on this which will come out at the back also when you are keeping the tracing paper remember the carbon paper always remember that this written part should be towards yourself and this plain part should be towards the cloth like this so quickly I will show you in a time lapse how to trace it After tracing with the pencil now very gently you need to remove this once you remove it keep on holding it with your hand and check whether all your design has been traced or not uh, now I am very much satisfied that my design has been traced so I am going to just remove it if you will see like this that the pattern has been beautifully traced on my blouse and I am ready for starting the embroidery on it. Some more things now which I require for this embroidery uh, I will show you all of them. Uh, I will use these anchor threads like this. These are the cotton embroidery threads which I will use for embroidery over this. So these are the shades which I am going to use. I have taken all light and pastel shades. Uh, there is something like this bead set. I got this box from online and this is available in a uh, stationery shop also. And I was just thinking of making pink color flowers and this 
yellow lime color flowers and in these flowers i thought of using in pink i thought of using of white that is cream color beads and in yellow lime color i thought of using these pink beads in the center like this now let me i this is just something which i am planning to do but things change when i practically do now these are some needles which i will use for this project the selection of needle is a very important uh, process here when you are doing embroidery and in a very bad way i am doing the unboxing of this needles please bear with me uh, see first i want to take a very fine needle this one this is a real fine needle you can see a very very thin a very small needle it is and just pass through this bead from the needle to check once whether it is fine or not so if easily this goes have you seen how easily it goes so if it goes easily the bead it passes through the needle easily that means this needle is perfect for putting these beads onto the fabric so that is why i said selection of needle is a very important aspect when we are doing embroidery this one is the needle which i will use first for making these flowers and i am going to attach these small pink beads over here in the center now since they are pink beads i have also selected another string anchor string of pink color and i am going to take out a length of it now for those who are wondering what i am using so this is a thread cutter you tool you can use this also and in case you don't have this thread cutter tool you can use a normal pair of scissors everything is perfectly suitable in this embroidery tutorial uh now if you will open these strings you will see that it is a it is a combination of six strings here from these strings i am going to use only two strings like this we open the thread okay so hold it and just you need to pull it apart like this if it gets tangled just with your hand untangle it and again sometimes these thread do trouble and they get tangled so no need to worry about that just detangle untangle it and take out what you require that is the two strings like this and quickly you need to thread your needle and like this go to one end of the thread and just make a knot see how to make a knot hold it round it on your finger keep it like this cross roll it hold it with your nail and pull it this is how you get a very neat and tidy knot please make sure when you are making the knot just see that you are making the knot on only one side of the thread see the other side of the thread is here so don't make don't join both of these and make a knot only make a knot on one side see this is one side and this is the next string okay now next step you have to only take a embroidery hoop like this round embroidery hoop like this and open it this plain ring keep it under the cloth see i have opened the blouse in between these two layers right not here don't put this also otherwise both the side of the blouse will be joined together it will be stitched together so you need to open the blouse like this and nicely slide in your embroidery hoop next step is just keep this ring 
with this screw on the top and very gently you have to press it don't be very harsh with the fabric because um, I am using silk here silk is a very fine and a very soft fabric if you will be very harsh in you know uh, pressing this down your fabric is going to tear apart it's going to damage now your needle which you have taken just from under the cloth this circle which you can see here just right in the center of the circle take out your needle like this and already you are having these beads here so just pass your needle and take one bead at a time see one bead is there in my needle so like this one bead take and from where you have taken out the thread very close to it put it down again like this so like this your beads will be attached again take it out from near like this again take the beads in your needle very gently very softly you have to do this so if it is not going like mine is not going just take one bead and like this put into your needle pass it down till the end and like this see very easy this embroidery is very easy and very beautiful at the same time again take out the needle just take one at a time pass it down then then next is put your needle under the cloth like this take out the needle again it's a very very simple embroidery and the outcome will be wonderful just wonderful just take one bead at the time don't take more than one bead like this thread gets tangled somewhere just untangle it and this process will go on like this you have to cover this whole circle with these beads one by one This is a very easy method of putting beads to your fabric. Very easy. There are a few more in which this work can be done much quicker, but I think for the beginners this easy process will be better. So like this if you are able to see see like this the beads have been attached to the fabric very nicely and easily. Go at the back of the fabric like this. just make a fine knot over here at the back don't be very harsh with the fabric because it's silk which i'm using here and it's a very delicate fabric you cannot be using it roughly okay done so i'm going to cut like this neatly and will come in front in the same way i'm going to attach beads in all these circles which you can see here and we'll start with the next step now for the next step i have taken a little uh different kind of needle in which the eye is big the eye of the needle is 
big you can see it's very big why i have selected this needle because i have used all the six ply when you open this this one anchor thread you will find six strings so this is called six ply i have used all the six strings in this needle and only one end i have made a knot you can see the other end is open without a knot so the one which has a knot is always slightly bigger than the one which does not have a knot you can see the difference here now i am going to put my needle right under the cloth i am going to take out this needle on these lines you can see these few lines 1 2 3 4 five lines are here so like this i am going to simply make lines with this like this simply just make lines take out from the other end of the line and simply make lines like this this stitch which you are learning now is woven row stitch this is a row stitch but this is called a woven row stitch it's a very beautiful embroidery and very easy at the same time and it gives a 3d look that is why it's a personal favorite like this this is very very easy embroidery here goes the last one this i'm going to make the last line like this and put it down over here like this so you can see it's just like a star shape 1 2 3 4 5 5 lines i have made so these lines this is a small circle so it is 5 if i will make a bigger circle i will make 7 if it is even a more bigger circle i will make 9 lines so these lines always are in odd numbers that is 3 5 7 9 11 etc never make this in this woven row stitch never make in even number always make in odd number so just turning the fabric and here just make a knot just hold the cloth and make a small fine knot over here one knot will be enough and just pass through the nearby threads like this and once or twice just pass through the adjacent threads and then you can simply cut this just come in the front side now there is a little bit change here what is the change that now we have to join both the end of this string that is the same yellow color thread which we are using light yellow and together we have to tie it like this see now both these strings i have joined both the legs of the thread i have tied in a knot together now now what now is a very easy process just take out your thread from near any one line so randomly you can do it i am taking out from this particular line and what you have to do you have to do weaving over here weaving means just leave one and pass this thread under the line don't go under the cloth you are just going under the line okay this line that is the thread like this now leave this and pass through this one now leave this and pass through this one see now how nice it is coming the the joint of this flower the center pollen area is coming so beautifully now you have to do the same thing 
again and again and you will find a very beautiful rose here so one you have to leave and one you have to pass through the thread like this you have to do this process till the time you are able to see this side threads this one i'm going to leave there is one over here which i want to cover like this and one i'm going to leave there is one which i want to cover over here just right under this one so very you can just turn the fabric also if you can't see and like this how nice flower it looks and one over here also just make a nice rose with this see how pretty this rose looks and i think one i will make last over here yes and this thread I think this is complete so what I will do I will from here only put the thread inside now like this inside the cloth like this now you see pretty rose isn't it a very beautiful rose turn around the fabric hold from front the rose carefully because it is going to uh, be pulled it will get spoiled like this so at the back just make the knot and cut it with the help of the scissor come in front see how nice it looks i will make the next woven rose with this cream color thread now this one and the process will be entirely the same as that of this yellow rose for this last type of flower here i have taken this light baby pink type of anchor thread here and the same needle i am using the one which i used for making this and this thread this the one with the little big eye as i have to pass again the entire six ply of anchor thread through this needle like this so i i am using the same needle over here also it's done okay the same process that one side of the thread you will keep long for this embroidery the entire process is same there is no changes here only one change was that here you had put small beads in the center so i am going to quickly teach you how to do this embroidery also simple very simple embroidery process this is this is also woven rose but slightly little different Again, you need to 
have these lines in odd number even number is not recommended here you have to use lines in odd number only then your woven rows will come nicely see done this five line star shape in a circle so go to the back again make a knot here when you are making the knot you need to hold your thread nicely because otherwise from the front side your thread will be pulled like this so just hold your thread like this then you pull and cut it okay now after you have cut this come in front and both the side of the thread you will bring together hold it and make a knot out of it like this now see both the sides both the threads are joined together after that is done the process is entirely the same as what we have done here just start from the absolute center not exactly the center but near to the center like this okay and leave one so this one i am leaving and this one i am passing my needle through the thread so this one i left and now this one so you just need to remember it's a woven stitch you will leave one thread and you will pass through the other one you don't have to worry much because you are using the odd numbers so your woven will come automatically correct so like this see how easy rose this is easy and quick embroidery this one is very quick just leave one and pass through the other like this with the help of needle only you can just make space for your new turn see like this just make space see how easy this embroidery is very very easy i think one last and then this seems to look very much complete yes now i am going to put my thread right under the cloth like this and then turn it around like this and you know now by this time i'm sure you know how to make a knot and you are also going to take care that while you are making the knot your rows should not be pulled from the front so just hold your thread then you pull it should not thread should not be pulled so this thing should be taken care of just pass through here and there like this and it got stuck somewhere i guess okay and quickly cut the thread and see how nice and beautiful this flower looks in the same way i'm going to make all the roses now then i will teach you how to make the leaves i have finished making all these beautiful flowers and i have put different kinds of beads here in the center in these few flowers now i will start with making leaves for the leaves i am using this kind of green color again this is a anchor thread which i use i personally prefer anchor thread because uh, 
the color never fades and they never bleed also so anchor thread is very favorite mind favorite huh uh, you can select the type of thread the company of thread uh, you are comfortable in using and same full six ply that means the full string i have used uh, in the needle and also only one end of this thread i have made a knot okay the other end is small and it is without the knot so as we do start the embroidery the same process is that we start the embroidery by taking out the needle from under the cloth i will be using for making the leaves satin stitch so like this take out the thread from one end and then put it down then again just take the shape of the sketched leaf and like this you can take out the needle again this embroidery is very simple satin satin stitch embroidery is absolutely simple just need to take out the thread and put it inside in long it is also called the long stitch so first i have taken out from the center of the leaf and i will do one side followed by doing the other side of the leaf I will start now, and there is no need of perfection here. Again, I am repeating the same thing because nature is imperfect. Nature is very imperfect, and in the imperfection, nature makes itself look very perfect. So, no need to be very, uh, you know, over uh, curious about following the perfectness of your sketch. Little hayway. will also be okay so i finished making this leaf with satin stitch the same thread i will take out from here that is the starting point of the other leaf see so like this again first i will make from the center one line followed by the left and the right side now it doesn't make any difference that whether you do the left side first or you do the right side first so do it as it suits you this particular embroidery project which i have taken is specially taken keeping in mind the beginners so you will find all the stitches which i have used here are very simple very easy and can be made in no time i have also kept in mind the time factor because somehow i also feel that time nowadays people don't have so much of time so they want to do certain projects which are easy and which finish in less amount of time so this is one of that kind of project so here a little thread was tangled which i managed to untangle it and in the same way i am going to follow the same process to make all the other leaves which are in front of you like this simple and easy leaf see after finishing these leaves with the satin stitch i have not cut the thread and with the same thread i am going to make the stem of this set of leaves so like this i have taken out the same needle from here and running stitch i will use for making the stem so just keep your needle down under the cloth and a slight gap you can take out your needle again like this i do it like this 
I just take a small this is called a pick of cloth here so small pick I take and like this I like to move for the running stitch this stitch is also absolutely easy I will now connect these leaves also with the main stem so I've taken out the thread near the leaf and will put the needle right near the stem so most of the places the the leaf is connected to the stem but few places here and there where it is not connected I will connect it like this so this portion is absolutely done now I will complete all these leaves with the same process after completing all these leaves and also the stem I am using now some light very light uh, greenish brown color extremely light this color is and I'm using all the six stands of it that is the six ply and as you can see I have made the knot on only one side of the thread now I'm going to make some nice uh, weeds kind of hair in the green area like this so small just take out the thread and put it back some places not every place but few places I'm going to do like this process I will continue in between here and there my design like this and at the end of these little stems I will make few nodes with the help of node stitch now that is very simple just take out the needle like this hold this thread with your left hand right hand on this needle just rotate wrap this thread three times keep it loose don't leave the thread from your left hand one two three okay hold your this thread in the needle with your right hand finger with your left hand hold this thread and very gently slide this down the cloth like this and you have to be very careful about this very softly gently you need to like this see how beautiful it looks simple easy and beautiful once again take out the needle like this hold your needle like this three wraps of this thread on your needle hold it with your finger put it from near the place from where you have taken out this thread and very gently softly pull your thread down like this so see how nice this beautiful dots node stitch looks like so we'll finish everywhere here in the design these nodes and these tiny stem after finishing the design over here now I will start making the same pattern not exactly same but the elements of this pattern will be same on the sleeves so this back portion I have finished now quickly I want to start with the design embroidery on my sleeves so you can see this is already a stitched sleeve and I want to trace my design here so what is the procedure you just keep the sleeve like this facing this 
towards the edge of the sleeve towards your own self now i have taken like this one small diary which i had basically my point here is that i want to insert this diary over here like this so that when i'm tracing uh, this the the stitching of this inside portion doesn't disturb me so like this i have kept this diary right inside here if you don't have a diary like this you can take a piece of cardboard already you can see this mark this is the center of the the center line of the sleeve okay and i have sketched a very small motif here which is quite similar to what i have done on the back the same elements i have taken from here and with the help of this round circular d i guess you can see there are so many different sizes of circles here i have just placed it here and just sketched like this few circles and then again sketched five division five lines in every circle simply a few leaves i have drawn so this i am ready to transfer on to the sleeve for transferring this what i need is this carbon paper which i have shown you earlier also this is the white carbon paper which i am using so always as i tell you you have to keep this written portion facing towards yourself up and this plain portion will be facing the fabric so just keep the carbon paper like this and take your pattern pattern also keep like this i will just bring it bit down like this and i will make a mark here because on the next sleeve also i am going to keep it this the distance should be equal so same distance i will keep in the next sleeve also so that is why i have drawn this rough line so after keeping this uh, properly the carbon paper the tracing paper i will quickly sketch the pattern using a pen you can use a pencil anything which is available to you you can use it <laughs> anything which is close by for me it is close by hmm? i have so many things but still i look for things which are near to me more nearer to me which i don't have to stand and lift only quickly i can just get it by picking up with my hands like this which are very close to me which are very approachable i believe in such kind of material okay so like this quickly draw the entire design just make sure that you are not leaving this it should not move here and there the entire three layers it has to be carefully pulled in one place
very clear design is there and I will remove this this diary which I had kept under it and will take a very small hoop like this this hoop I will use as I had shown you earlier also how I use that simply and just loosen this up because I don't want it to be very tight it is going to uh, damage my fabric since I'm using raw silk it's a very delicate a very fine also very expensive fabric so I don't want it to get spoiled so according to the fabric I'm going to keep on losing it so that it doesn't damage or tear my cloth and just like this you have done this design over here in the same way you have to make this one on the sleeve also and we are going to do this very quickly but before that I want to uh, tell you that we are also going to add some beautiful tiny stones here which I will show you when I will do this sleeve but before that let us do the basic flower and the basic leaves first. Like this I have put the beads here as the pollen in both these uh, center part of the roses which are supposed to be the nectar area. I have used this very fine thin needle and only two strings to ply of the anchor thread I have used here. As you can see only two ply I have used here from the anchor thread for putting these small beads like this okay now quickly I will start making all these roses and the process of roses are the same which I have used here Now I have finished all this work and I will teach you how to put small beads like this all over. So one sleeve I have already done complete and this is the one on which I am teaching you how to put these small beads. 
for this you have to take a very fine needle like this and only two ply of anchor thread are here used in this so quickly take out from wherever you want to put your beads take out your needle like this right from under the cloth and keep a few beads on your cloth only uh, this becomes very easy for you to pick the beads so like this pick your bead with the help of needle and just pass it through this the eye so once it passes through the eye it becomes easy for you to put it nicely so, and from where you have taken out just near to it you are going to put your thread your needle under the cloth like this so wherever you feel like take out your thread take the bead and put it down back again but when you are putting it down back again just keep in mind that you must not put it on the same hole from where you have taken it out it should be little far from that not very far also but very little far in this way your bead will come horizontal otherwise it will come vertical and it will not shine because these are very very tiny glass beads if you could see my bead box over here these are very very tiny glass beads extremely pretty very tiny and very delicate so in the same way i am going to put this all over near my design all over on the fabric Now see, this blouse is absolutely ready. You can see how beautiful this blouse looks, and I have used very few stitches in this. Now this one is a woven rose wheel stitch. This one is only woven rose stitches, and the processes of both these stitches are almost the same. Now the stitch which I have used for the leaves. are the satin stitch i have used running stitch for the stem here and there and these are the small node stitch i have also used small glass beads these are called the glass beads which i have used just to enhance my pattern the same thing you can see i have done on the two sleeves also here and here and see how pretty and gorgeous this looks I would definitely like to share with you a very little small secret of mine. Actually, the blouse which I have created, this one, is not a new material in it itself. Now, this piece of cloth is 23 years old. Yes, you heard it right. It is 23 years old. Actually, my mother gifted this suit to me in my wedding. and i was uh, very very uh, involved i was very emotionally touched attached to this suit and i never wanted to throw it and 23 years man understand i have gained a lot of weight by then till now still i was in love with this fabric this suit of mine i gave it to the tailor i told him to stitch a blouse out of the kurta of the suit for me and he did so for that i am really grateful to him because so many memories are attached with this piece of fabric i never wanted to leave it never wanted to throw it now you have also learned another lesson how you can upcycle your old kurta or old your suits i will show you one more things 
that how I am going to club this blouse with my different sarees. Now here I am going to show you that how well it goes with this South Indian saree of mine which I have. You can see how pretty Pallu this saree has and how nice this blouse is going to look with this sari. Now another sample I am going to show you is with this sari now. Because the combination of blouse is such that this combination of flower will look nice with so many so many saris. If you will see with this sari also this blouse is going to look just rocking. One more to go. Yes, one more to go. Now see with this how nice it is going to look with this. This is monochromatic shades in which the blouse and the sari have similar kind of colors. Now one more and really gorgeous gaudy one is right in front of you. Now see how nice it clubs with a black color sari. Yes, and it is not complete. Don't miss the festive, gorgeous look of the same blouse with a very nice, simple, elegant golden sari. See the beautiful tassels of golden sari. How it goes well with my this magenta blouse. I hope this video satisfies your creative thirst, and I'm sure all the ladies, all the girls are going to. Love this and definitely are going to try this upcycling video with your old kurtas, old blouses. How you are going to recycle that is your creativity and I will be waiting in the comment box to hear from you what creative things you did after learning this uh, embroidery project from me. So stay tuned for more creative videos. Don't forget to like, share and subscribe my channel. Stay happy, stay healthy, keep learning always.